Clear for flight service check. Clear for flight service check. I'm Specialist Nicholas Redondo from Clearwater, Florida. I am a UAS maintainer slash TI. Maintainers, we just make sure everything works right. If something comes up, we fix it. My team helps in uh, maintenance by oiling the aircraft, cleaning, and visually inspecting everything. Without that, the engine couldn't cool itself. It would overheat. We would go through, check the aircraft once it's landed, defuel, refuel it. Prior to us launching, you have to go around and check the launcher to make sure all the pulleys and all the cables and Pretty much the entire thing works properly. While in flight, anything could happen to it. It has to have maintenance. After it flies so many hours, you have to check on it. If you don't, it could possibly crash. That's the worst case scenario, the arresting gear. It has to be torqued to a certain amount of foot-pounds so that when the aircraft comes in and contacts appendants, it slows it down. When you hit the uh, launch switch, the pressure pushes back a giant piston on the launcher and it pretty much forces the aircraft off the shuttle. The launch is pretty much like a giant hydraulic and air powered slingshot and after it launches you have to push the shuttle back and relock it. Uh, we do uh, route clearance, we'll help uh, escort everything, we'll do surveillance of areas in case there's any enemy before any kind of strike team moves in. Visual inspection completed, no leaks, stand by for engine start. Roger, here comes throttle burst. Got down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch, launch, launch. It gives me a really good feeling. We always have people who want to come down and watch us launch an aircraft or look at the aircraft just to see what's watching them. There are days where people come by and they're like, thank you so much, you, you helped us out so much. It's a great feeling.